Hi everyone, I'm Gözde Damla Turhan from İzmir University of Economics Department of Architecture. I'm going to present our paper uh, on behalf of uh, my colleague Selen Çiçek from the same in institution, um, a framework for creating a hybrid experience for NFT artwork through 3D printing. So there are a lot of going on in the metaverse environment and we are hearing a lot about those keywords, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, or NFTs. So in this paper, we focused on the NFTs and their experience, digital experience, and the authenticity of the NFT artworks, um, the digitization of art, uh, its advantages, disadvantages, and the role of and the right of the artists as well. So I would like to mention about um, what is a centralized network and what is a distributed network in order to understand the uh, transactions of NFTs. Uh, in the centralized uh, network, actually we are very familiar with this one because um, in the center you see a computer and it symbolizes the, simply the banks. So every you each user is connected to the bank, but if the bank system is hacked, then all of the users, all of the customers are affected by that. Um, that's why it's uh, not safe actually. In the distributed network, you see that there is um, no computer in the middle because the transactions are provided by each user. So each user is connected to each other and um, every single user or customer uh, approves the transactions and it requires more than 50% um, of the users to be hacked in order to hack the whole system. So it's relatively safer than the centralized network. And this network also has its own cryptocurrencies um, um, the currencies, uh, which is called cryptocurrencies, in the centralized network, like each country has its own uh, currency. So that's the difference. So, uh, what is an NFT? It's non fungible token, it's a particular class of blockchain based cryptographic tokens. And um, they are actually uh, graphically speaking in um, low resolution and the uh, data sizes are relatively smaller. Um, and those NFTs are being used as uh, cryptocurrencies as well uh, because you can exchange an NFT, you can buy an NFT, you can sell an NFT. And also, uh, like in the uh, physical environment, you can buy something and you can sell uh, that, but uh, there is no ownership rather than the receipt, maybe, and it can be easily um, lost. So, um, in the digital world, um, in terms of the NFTs, there is an ownership um the legal ownership and there is a validity of digital assets this is an example uh, of an nft um series it's called board ape launched in uh, 2021 and there are a lot of examples uh in terms of the NF nft collections and um so this is a, a smart contract uh, which means the certificate of ownership. So uh, this ownership exists fully on the digital platforms as a stored data, so nobody can change it um, and nobody can manipulate the token metadata. And this is an example from Mintable um, website. You can uh, find many others uh, which uh, which enables you to uh, buy or sell your NFT. So, um, 
why we thought that there is a potential for NFTs to be 3D printed and why we are doing that because uh, NFTs are based on a digital platform so if you buy an NFT you cannot touch it so um, and also the image that um, that is available for the NFT is also available on the uh, World Wide Web. That's why um, everybody can take a screenshot or just uh, right click and save your uh, image, your NFT, and uh, it reduce, reduces the sense of ownership. That's why we thought that uh, there can be a physical uh, twin of NFTs so that the user can feel the uh, feel the artwork uh, on uh, on its uh, on his or her hands and gives um, more sense of uh, ownership. So, um, um, in terms of the NFT creation, um, the NFTs are already digital. Uh, by its nature, so you create your NFT on uh, on a software on your computer, and then you upload your NFT to the platforms that sell NFTs, and um, that's why there is a lot of potential because the digital uh, file um, is already there. So this is a. Um, screenshot uh, from paint um, you know each computer has paint software so actually the digital art um, and we see the digital the first examples of digital art in the early 1980s when the pioneering digital artist harold cohen used a paint program developed by a few computer engineers so uh, actually the uh, nfts um, were existing uh, by now, but it's um, used as a transactions um, started not quite a long ago. So, so in terms of our methodology, we are um, we were trying to go from digital to physical. So we created an NFT artist network. We defined the specifications that we need and we created an artist and uh, artwork database. And then we um, take, took the uh, STL files and um, we had 2D vector based artworks as well as 3D model based artworks. And uh, we uh, manipulated the geometries in order to be able to print uh, with a 3D printer. And then we minted, we minted those um, NFT artworks on, on an Ethereum blockchain, so, uh, which was Mintable website again. Um, we chose Mintable because it was free to upload or sell or uh, buy the NFTs and and it requires less time to up upload your artwork as NFTs so it requires the website requires a preview image and private file unlockable content which you cannot see unless you buy the NFT there is an item description as well, as well and uh, other listing details and so in the private files, we um, uploaded the um, printable versions, the STL files, and so that the, um, the user or customer when um, by the NFT, um, he or she is going to have the private file, the STL file is a private file so that he or uh, she can print the NFT. And then uh, as, as last step, we track the transactions um, through GitHub, um, but we are not sure if the NFTs are uh, printed 
we see the downloads, but we are not sure uh, which um, file is print, actually printed or not. So it requires the further research. So this is the results. You see the uh, minted NFTs on the upper um, side. So, um, so when we print the NFTs, it provided a hybrid experience in both realms. You already have it um, on your computer. It's, it's, uh, it, is, uh, it digitally exists. And uh, also you have the physical copy. So uh, it's a physical experience as well. And um, it's all also helped to maintain the artwork's uniqueness and rarity. Um, as I mentioned previously, if you have the NFT only in digital platforms, you uh, anyone else can just uh, right click and save the artwork and it reduces the sense of ownership. So and this is the proof of ownership. You have the NFT. Uh, and you have the um, uh, physical version of that. And um, it also uh, encouraged the artists to promote artworks on digital platforms because when we talked about the artists uh, that we uh, created a network, uh, um, um, they said that they were afraid of uh, promoting their artworks on digital platforms because it, um, the artworks can be easily saved and shared uh, um, without uh, any references on digital platforms. So um, now artists have the um, NFTs, the digital versions, and whoever buys it, he or she also has the uh, physical copies uh, through this uh, framework as well. So thank you.